fears of a winter without gas in Europe as Russian energy giant Gazprom begins its summer maintenance program. The 10-day routine service on the Nord Stream 1 pipeline is scheduled to continue until the 21st of July. But on Monday morning, Italy and Austria announced that Moscow had unexpectedly limited supply via a different pipeline, which has raised concerns, as expressed here in the German daily Bild, that Vladimir Putin may simply decide to leave the taps shut. Berlin is Europe's top buyer of Russian gas at around 35 percent of imports, down from 55 percent before Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. In France, where around 17 percent of gas comes from Russia, they're preparing for the worst. Let's prepare for a total cutoff of Russian gas. That remains the most likely scenario. Bruno Le Maire urged the government to enter quickly into what he called battle formation and called for a collective effort from households and businesses to reduce energy consumption. He also underlined Prime Minister Elisabeth Borne's top priority for her new government to press ahead with France's energy sovereignty. We need to accelerate our energy independence, to fill up our stocks, to quickly build a floating liquefied natural gas plant in Le Havre. And we have to stop taking two or three years to do something that other countries do in six months. France and Germany's gas reserves are currently around 60 percent full. Italy has a little more, 64 percent. But it's a far cry from the 80 percent minimum national reserves recently imposed by the European Council.